Hello guys, this is Nature Twins. We're doing another video about how to draw. So this is our first time we are doing it. And we're just gonna try and draw. Myself and my cousin, where we, we came, we were just like talking from the phone. And we thought of drawing a Kestrel. First I'm gonna draw a cartoon, then I'm gonna draw the real life. So, this is the cartoon one. First, you'll draw a head, coming down like that, coming down like that, and then just flatten it like that. And then you do that, do that, and you draw some bump. You see what I'm doing here? I just draw uh, bumps. Right? You with me so far? Good. Then, you would do the curved beak coming out like that and then curve it like that. Then you would do a nostril and separation from the beak. So you would do like that. Separate the beak. This is only cartoon. Then you would do the eye. So it would be like this. And it'll come out like that to make a lovely animate eye. And then you would have a cartoon, remember? Have a crest coming up from the top and then coming down like this. And you have three little pieces of feather coming from, from the right by the eye. Then with the body, you would draw quite an oval pump shape which then looks a bit like that and then you would have a first adding the first wing you would have like that and like that come up 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 like this like that you with me all right you do that like spikes then you have the other wing going from here up to there like that and then you would add a little panel so that's the little like place where the leg came comes out. It's there. Then we would like that. One claw with talon, another talon, another talon. You then you would add little black particles to it like that. Looks like claws. A bit like that, doesn't it? You have one there coming down like that, like that. And then you can add some tail feathers coming up like that, 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 and that. You right? Then you would add a tiny little opening gap there, like that. Just there. Sorry, there. And then you would add. Some tiny, sorry, tiny little lines coming down <laughs> like this. I'll zoom it in in a minute for you. So, we are going to zoom it right in. You see, there's little lines left breaking it. That's the beak, that's the head, right down to the tail and the talons. And if you would like to, I can draw you a little cartoon mouse coming up like that. A little nose. Because Kestrel like to eat mice. Come up like that. Only cartoon, remember? <laughs> I don't want you thinking that's what they actually look like. And then coming down like that, the tail. A few lines here. 
little legs, little little toes, tiny little toes. <laughs> what was that accent? <laughs> anyway, then one like this, this like that, yeah, nose and your whiskers. And then you have it, another mouse. Next, we're gonna flip. Oh yeah, so that's the book that I got. Called Seven Miles on Planet. Anyway, the real life one. So we're gonna do a tail. Going up like that. My voice cracked then, sorry. I have a little tiny socket. Just um there. There. And we're gonna oh sorry, have one part of the talon like that you see no this is a real life version another point like that and this will come up like that see that then link it all up like that do some wrinkles but don't just have smooth legs and you do one coming up like that and then facing towards you like this. There you go, that's the knees. Then you would do some other pieces of tail coming down. Then do some spikes like that coming down from it. Tiny little gap here. They will come up from the tail right up to the head. See that? Then, there you go. You would add, remember, this is the best I can drawing a real life bird. And you would have the head. Like that. This one isn't flying, remember. We'll have a beak. Separation. It's down. Down. Like that. Then you have the nostril. Then some little little shade around there. Just to make it blend in. Just a little bit. You see? Then you add a wing. Sorry, that's my shadow. You add a wing going like that. Coming down, coming down like that. Then you would add. Some little triangles like that, and some nice shading. I point it like that. I'll just zoom out for you. Like that. You see that so far? Then you add some more tail feathers. Like that. Then separate the tail feathers. Like that. Then you start doing the rock. Like that. Look, you see I separated them. Then do the rock coming down. And then you would do a line coming down like that. Coming down. You like that, so it's sat on a rock above some nice grass. And then you would do a little belly with some nice dots. Just there. For the eye, you would do one. And then you would bump it and then you go down 
then you would it would narrow you would narrow it and then you would add some pupils to it and add a pupil and then get some lines going up from it shade it in make that middle bit a bit more black uh, let me show you this middle bit a bit more black and then come up round and down and up and then you would do some nice um feather lines coming up down, down. Feather lines coming up and then we're going to just shade it in there like that and then we're going to just do some little things like this and then we're going to add some particles and we're going to do the other wing just coming out up around here like that and then this is like the underneath of the wing a bit like that you see what i've done there so then you would do some like that and then shade it in And then like that and then you would leave this bit to do that it's the closest i can get it to a crystal which is a falcon so we go oh look that's a falcon this was our falcon it's a good track to me isn't it then you would do some grass coming up like that and then just coming up just like that like a bit like that you see that just under little like bumps then you would do a flower coming up you do a little pollen petal there then two little things like that then you add some root coming down coming down it's on a rock remember and then i'm gonna leave some finishing touches so i'm just gonna cover the video that and get my black marker and go around it with it. I'll stop it over to you. We'll just go around so basically this is a Kestrel on how to draw. Kestrel's a falcon native to the UK. Uh, it, it lives across fields and farmland. They have quite pink tummy. It's kind of funny. Um, they have, so they eat like mice, they will eat voles, they would eat rat, they would even eat baby, um, baby rabbit, if possible, do you want to have a rabbit, that means baby. So, that's some facts about a Kestrel. I'm just going to do some outlines. Coming up like that. And then we're going to just come some down. That's with the door closing. A bit loud. Then we're going to add some outline to the head. I'm just talking, just doing the outlines. Just, just talking to you. Hi, I'm Harrison. I just walked in the room. Oh, Harrison, yeah, the other nature trend. just walked into the room. To see how I was doing. What, what are you drawing? Drawing a kestrel. That's amazing, well done. Thanks. Then we're going to do the talons. Then afterwards we'll do the colouring in stage or the uh, real, real life well one. Right. So, this is this is the black pen. This is what it made it look like. Wow, brilliant. Then, the colouring <clears throat> stage. You would have a brown. Not so brown. Right, I found it. You have two types of brown. You have a nice darkish brown and a lightish brown. Darkish brown is for like the tops of the wings. Yeah, the wings. Tops of the wings. Yeah, so we decided to do this little drawing thing just so we can get some more subs. 
Whoa, yeah. We don't have much stuff to look like coming in. Well, it's like a starting. We have, we have a cousin who have A25 and we're really jealous. We're not jealous, we're just like hoping to get more, aren't we? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the bottom of the wing. We're going to do a kind of like a brownish yellow. A brownish ah. yellow. Then on the head, we're going to have a nice light brown. Are you trying to replicate... Are you trying to replicate this? That's a peregrine falcon. Not quite exactly. Oh, but... but <coughs> this still looks a lot, a lot like it. It still looks a lot like it, though. Then we're going to add this for the beak because then it's a nice peachy orange colour. Get out of the way. Mm. <laughs> and then that's a nice colour there. Like that. Merry Christmas, guys. Oh, yeah. It's just like one day past Boxing Day, my my place. So uh, this is, I'm just going to draw something at the top. this up by like this so wrap this up so how do you draw a kestrel real life kestrel and at the back is the cartoon one and this yes there we go so again i'm not gonna color in this because it's cartoon you color it however you like but this one is the main one i was talking about really unit. yep so we're gonna wrap this up by saying goodbye. Sorry, uh, so goodbye. He's gonna say goodbye as well. And then so is Harrison. So goodbye. Bye guys. See you for another video of Nature Twins. Next video we're gonna go outside and try and like have a, have a little look around, see what we can find. Because it's autumn. Little, it's uh, autumn hunt. Yeah. It's because it's autumny winter for me, so. We're going to see winter. what we can see. Winter. winter, not autumn. No, autumn is winter, right? No, winter. Okay, anyway. See you, see you later. Bye, guys. Merry Bye. Christmas. Merry Christmas.